how did ancient builders move stones so massive that even with modern technology we would struggle? Hidden within Baalbek's foundations lie three massive stone blocks embedded into a platform wall known collectively as the Trilophon. Each of these stones weighs between 800 and 1000 tons. To put that into perspective, that's heavier than a fully loaded space shuttle or about 150 adult elephants. Why did ancient builders go to such extremes to quarry stones that modern machines would struggle to handle? And this is the part that has engineers baffled to this day. The problem isn't just that these stones are big, is that we don't really know how they were moved. Not really. These stones were quarried from limestone bedrock roughly about a kilometer away from the actual site. And that might not sound like much, until you imagine moving a 1000 ton stone in uneven ground, uphill and being placed with flawless precision. Modern cranes can lift about 500 tons, and that's under optimal conditions. To move a 1200 ton block today would require disassembling roads, lifting power lines and bringing up in custom engineered transport systems. And even then it's not guaranteed. Some even argue that that's not even possible today, not without cutting the stone into smaller pieces. And yet, someone did it long ago. Without diesel, without metal tools, without wheels, it was done. We do not know what techniques they used. We don't even have records, we don't have blueprints, nothing. Now make no mistake, the Romans certainly built on top of the site. But many suspect the platform itself, and especially the Trilithon, predates them by hundreds possibly thousands of years. Why would anyone choose to work with stones of such unimaginable size? And how did they succeed at doing something that we might not even be able to do today?